Oh, well, the American League, when it looks like they get something going, the National League has turned their second double play in the ball game. Pinch hitting now, Mickey Rivers, the New York Yankees center fielder. One strike to him. Rivers hitting a 310 for the Yankees. He has homered five times and knocked in 39 runs. Talk about a guy who can really fly. Talking about Mickey Rivers. Really turned things around for the Yankees. There's a slider from Seaver that got the inside corner. He stole 25 bases already for the Yankees as uh, Billy Martin says it's been one of the great team efforts, but this fellow's been a great part of it, Mickey Rivers. Two men out, fifth inning. Out of play, left field side. I'll tell you, Bob, you got to just admit it. President of the United States here, 64,000 people, the All Star game, the cream of everything. They're playing baseball, they're going right at it. Baseball attendance is up, it's unbelievable. Ball two strike two as you look at Mark Fedrich and we're going to have a little talk with him in a couple of minutes. Got him. Seavers strikes out Mickey Rivers. Excluding the pitchers. Rivers will lead off for the American League. In fact for Darrell Johnson excluding the pitchers except for Chris Shambliss and Amos Otis. Everyone is playing. Mickey Rivers grounded out his only time at bat. Watch Rivers if he does it this time. After a pitch, many times will uh, flip his bat like a baton turler. Excellent bat control. Sometimes when he uh, starts to go halfway around or fouls a pitch back, you'll see it. Carlton Fisk in the American League dugout. Tanana sitting next to him. Belanger and Freddie Lynn. Roden, an interesting story. Here's a 23 year old young man. He had osteomyelitis as a youngster. Wore a brace on his right leg when he was nine years old. Wore it for three years. And it was caused by an accident. He stepped on a pair of rusty scissors. And later had to have an operation on the opposite leg. So both legs would be even. And here he is in the major leagues, Rick Roden. There you see Woody Fryman warming up in the National League bullpen used to play of course here in Philadelphia. Inside to Rivers. Maybe you saw the Olympic arm patch on uh, Woody Fryman of course from the Montreal Expo where we will be beginning Saturday Olympic coverage here on ABC. The 2 2 to Rivers. Out of play. In case you just joined us, the American League, only run of the night, a home run by Freddie Lynn. There you see the symbol, the Olympic symbol, on the right shoulder of Woody Fryman. The National League, the two-run homer by Foster. Garvey tripled in rows, and then Garvey scored on a ground ball by Foster, and that's it, 4-1. to one. We're in the eighth inning. Jones, Seaver, Montgomery, and now Roden for the National League. This is Mickey Rivers with a 2-2 count. And Roden off the mound. He'll have to hurry, and he's safe. Put it in your pocket. <laughs> See that one coming all the way as soon as Mickey Rivers hit that high chopper to the right of the mound. Roden got off the mound quickly. Look at Mickey Rivers chopped down on that ball, that high hopper. Rick Roden, forget it, Rick. No chance on AstroTurf. Wow. Rivers normally a threat to steal but of course probably will not do so with the American League trailing four to one here in the eighth inning. Carl Yastrzemski certainly one of the greatest hitters in the history of baseball. Missed one batting title by two ten thousandths of a point. When Alex Johnson beat him out. 
And Yastrzemski could be two. Russell to Perez. Double play. And Rivers took out Russell, but Russell made the double play anyway. Really an excellent play by Russell, as you'll see Rivers really knock him over. Now look at Russell. Here's Rivers. And Russell is hit actually before the throw, but still gets it off for the double play. I want to tell you, I believe he misjudged the speed of Mickey Rivers that time, Warner, because he, he had the throw in plenty of time as he comes across the bag, but Rivers is right there and almost really ripped him apart. 